okay so a very good morning to all the students ninth standard students of jc english high school see almost we have completed the first part of your social science okay so where we was we was in the chapter 5 that is the land resources karnataka so there we have gone through all the things the land utilization then your agriculture what are the types of farming and then the um, this thing your what are the crops there are three types of crops we know the food crops out of that we already have gone through paddy jowar ragi okay and we have started with the commercial crop and there we already have discussed the two things that is sugar cane and cotton okay so these two we have already discussed so now onwards we will discuss the tobacco and coffee so now we will start off with the tobacco it belongs to the nicotiana group okay it, it belongs to the nicotiana group it contains an intoxicating substance called nicotine so, okay see tobacco as of now you all know tobacco cigarettes beeries then these strings hookahs and all they all contains the tobacco and in tobacco it is there the nicotine part which is a intoxicant not good for health tobacco is used in the manufacture of beer cigarettes cigar etc okay the portuguese introduced tobacco in 17th century the portuguese people the portuguese people means the persons who are from portugal they are known as portuguese they first introduced the tobacco in the 17th century it is a major commercial crop in the state it is a major commercial uh, crop in the state it grows in loamy soil with high temperature and moderate rainfall high temperature and moderate rainfall moderate rainfall means not so so much and not so less also karnataka grows virginia tobacco okay this one you should understand virginia tobacco this is the finest tobacco in the world which karnataka is producing okay so here what we got that karnataka grows virginia tobacco virginia tobacco bd tobacco and chewing tobacco virginia tobacco is highest quality highest quality and is great demand in the global market heavy demand is there in the global market for this virginia tobacco so it is exported globally and thus on foreign exchange so we are doing the export means we are sending this tobacco virginia tobacco to other countries and that for that we are getting the what we are getting we are getting the foreign currencies now we will go for the growing areas karnataka stands fourth among the tobacco growing states in india okay for tobacco it is in the fourth position in india fourth position okay in india karnataka is the fourth position it has got for the cultivation of tobacco mysuru first position it is mysuru in karnataka mysuru occupies the first position in the production of tobacco it is also grown in the district of hassan sibamoga kodagu belavi belari belagavi chitradurga raichur davangari tumkaru and gala okay nippani in belagavi a place is there in belagavi by the name nippani district is very famous for its bd tobacco bd tobacco and marketing of it and also production so nippani in belagavi district is very famous for its bd tobacco marketing and production means cultivation now we will go for the last commercial crop that is your coffee okay coffee as of now you all know <clears throat> it is a beverage okay like tea coffee okay this is also known as a energy drink we get energy from this okay so coffee is karnataka's famous plantation and beverage crop okay this comes under the plantation crop okay you can say it as commercial crop because this gives good turnover so karnataka ranks fast in the production of coffee in india 
this thing you should understand that karnataka stand fast not in india hey, not in this place karnataka stand fast in india throughout the country karnataka is fast in the production of coffee now a small history i will tell you a muslim fakir fakir means priest named baba budan the priest name is baba budan he planted coffee saplings saplings means small tree small plant of coffee coffee for the first time around 1670 now it is 2020 this person has planted the first sapling of coffee in the year 1670 in the hills of chikmagalur okay in the hills of chikmagalur he first planted the sapling and from that only it got famous however the organized coffee plantation began under the british rule in 1826 see that time when that uh, fakir or priest have planted we or then only people know about that coffee it is a beverage drink or it can be used as a commercial crop but the organized plantation means how it should get planted how it is uh, the production should be everything the organized method of plantation the british rule the britishers introduced it that this should be get done like this 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 so that we can get the more and more production and it happens in the year 1826 Karnataka produces two types of coffee namely coffee arabica and coffee robusta okay these are the two types of coffee which are being produced or cultivated in Karnataka coffee arabica and uh, arabica and coffee robusta of this the coffee arabica is of better quality and also has great demand in international market like tobacco virginia that is a high superior quality so it is having a demand in the international market and so we do the export of that one okay virginia tobacco like that also here also what happened of this coffee there are two types coffee arabica arabica and coffee robusta out of this coffee arabica and robusta arabica is of superior quality and it has a demand internationally means other countries also they like it so we can export it to the other countries and for that we can what we can do for that we are earning the foreign currencies coffee is a tropical crop this all are also the tropical crop which grow uh, which grows on slopes of hills with heavy rainfall where heavy rainfall is there and there is a steep slope they don't you can cultivate coffee in a plain land the land should have slope then only you can do the cultivation of coffee clay mix soil is suitable for this crop okay clay mix soil is suitable for this crop coffee plantation is mainly done in the malnad region malnad region you people all know the physiography of karnataka malnad region is nothing but the hill region hill region only having the slope part so that is suitable for coffee plantation which is suitable for its growth now we will go for the growing areas of growing areas of uh, this one your coffee karnataka produces 70% of the total coffee production in india however in india whatever the production is there out of 100% production 70% of the production is getting done in karnataka that's why it stood fast position in india in the production or cultivation of coffee kodagu district stand fast in coffee production in karnataka kodagu district kurg Kurg, one place is there, very beautiful place for tourism also. And if you go there, you can see the coffee gardens. It's too much beautiful. Okay, so Kodagu district stands fast in coffee production in Karnataka. Chikmagalru and Hassan also produces coffee. Okay, Chikmagalru, where the first that fakir, that fakir planted that uh, sapling. that place also chikmagalur is very famous for coffee production okay but kodagu stand fast in in regards to the production quantity 
okay chikmagaluru and assam also produces coffee to small extent not like uh, chikmagaluru hasan and kodagu but it is also getting done the cultivation is also getting done in shivamogga chamrajnagar and dakshina kannada coffee grown in karnataka is good in quality see whatever the coffee it is grown 70% of the coffee what is getting done in getting cultivated in karnataka it is of high quality because here other than robusta the coffee arabica is um, cultivated more which is a superior quality and for that we can do the export of that coffee to the other countries so coffee grown in karnataka is good in quality it has great demand both in national and also the international market so if you are having a good thing okay it will be having a demand in the national and international market okay so in india also the coffee from karnataka is of high demand as well as in other countries of the uh, world there is a very high demand for the coffees of karnataka the coffee arabica even robusta is also good but uh, arabica is of superior quality as it is now after going through all the notes of coffee we can conclude one thing that for the coffee karnataka is the fast position they are doing the cultivation of coffee arabica robusta everything for that the last word is that's why karnataka is known as the land of coffee okay so here we conclude the chapter of your land resources karnataka and your first part is totally over now we will proceed with the second one second part but before to that i will take one test i will tell how it will be in your whatsapp only you will be getting the questions you have to write it on a sheet of paper and you have to submit it to our headmaster as of now okay so what happen you have to submit it and if you are not going to do that till now nobody came for the notes and all nothing no communication is there okay i can i can understand that thing and i can tolerate that thing but if those who are not going to give your exam whatever it is it will be given to you through whatsapp and you have to submit it to the headmaster so that it can get signed and it depends the number of your internal in your final final exam so be cautious about it okay thank you see you in the next video